this video, I want to see if lossless scaling is better than native upscaling. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm starting to see a decline in optimization in games that have been coming out and applications like lossless scaling seem to be fighting against that. Now, about two weeks ago, I made a video about genuinely doubling, tripling or quadrupling your FPS using LSFG 3.0. That video was fun, but it's been a minute since I've tested lossless scaling's core abilities. So let's see which upscaler you should use. Now, the game I'm testing this in is Avowed. Now, by the time you guys are seeing this video, the game should be fully out to everyone. But right now, when I'm recording it, this game is in early access. And boy, this is definitely one of those games. One, This game is really fun. But that aside, I want to talk about performance. As you can see, I'm currently at around 55 FPS. Of course, this is a still frame. So the FPS is going to be pretty decent. But one thing i can say is that the optimization is not the greatest but it is definitely better than stalker stalker i had i at least spent two days trying to get the game playable before i actually started playing it so yeah but as you can see right now i'm at 50 to 55 fps dropping down sometimes into the 45 and you can definitely see there is a few stutters now one thing i can say is of course playing a game early access there are issues with just the game having a few bugs that can be janky so for instance like in every other game being in the cities can cause your fps to drop to 20 to 30 fps and yeah it can get pretty bad there but you can see right now that it's not horrible and let's see what my settings are you can see that currently i am using the fsr3 quality and then you can go down my bitrate is at 25 percent and it got about i say medium to high settings and this is actually what i found is the best for me i actually use lossless scaling but we're going to get to that later so you can see right now that with fsr3 i'm getting about 50 55 and then in some points i'm getting 60 if i look up in the air you can see that i am getting 62 66 70 so about 70 fps looking in the air looking at the ground about about one to two fps more is it, is definitely fluctuating you can see about the frame time that it has a lot going on i want to go and turn off fsr3 and i want to see what that does now i actually haven't tested any of this so this is about to be a surprise to me let's see so i'm currently using a ryzen 5 3500x and a rx 6600 this game is using pretty much all of my ram of course that also is windows too but you can see that my ram is at 14 gigabytes right now so yeah my ram is definitely struggling but you can see that without fsr3 the fps looking up is back to 70 but looking around it's not horrible if you did something like this in stalker yeah you might run into some issues but looking around i'm getting between 40 to 50 fps so technically is this playable yes but would i want to play like this no and the reason why i'm saying no is because there's definitely a way better way to play it and you guys will see in about what five minutes so this is 50 fps without fsr and we were getting about 60 with fsr or i'd say 50 to 60 and now we're getting 40 to 50 without it so it seems that fsr or the native fsr is giving us about a 10 fps increase and of course you can change that depending on the quality you want you can go to balanced or performance and you can also just turn down the settings so yeah this is fsr native upscaling and now let's see what lossless scaling's upscaling can do or if it's any better now i am using the lossless scaling and i'm i am using its ls1 preset for the upscaling because of course that is lossless scaling's own upscaler so let's see um now one thing i can can definitely say is that the FPS is about the same if you go back in the video you can see that with the native FSR the FPS is just really it's really bipolar so if you stay still like this and look into the sunset or into the sunset you can see that it is about 70 FPS just like the native one 
and then you go down it's about 65 64 like the native one and if you start moving around you can see that things start to go horrible so you can see that now it was at 40 fps 42 fps just like how the native upscaling was so you can tell that performance wise they both achieve around the same fps so that isn't different but where things go downhill is the way it visually looks and feels one thing i can say i don't know if you guys can see it on your end but one thing i can say for sure although this game is beautiful using lossless scaling's own upscaler is not good and don't say that i only tried ls1 i also tried fsr and it didn't really change anything both of them don't really look good but i think it's because i'm actually setting my window size to 720p let me know down in the comments if i don't have to do that i tried googling it it claimed that you don't have to change your resolution from 1080p but I can't find out how to get it to work, so I just changed my window to 720p. That might be the reason for the quality, but it still doesn't feel good. Like I would, I would definitely not play it like this. I would play it using the native FSR before I play it using the Lost of Scalings FSR. Okay, now I wanna just quickly go over what I found is the best settings to do this. Now, what I found is simply using LSFG 3.0, which is honestly, in my opinion, the best thing I've ever seen created. And yeah, using that with your FPS lock to 30, you can see that if I look at the ground and you look up at the left top corner, I am currently left at 30 FPS and it's giving me a smooth 60 FPS. Now, the reason why this is needed is because I'm playing this game early, so they will add some tweaks to fix performance, but in the cities, the performance gets really bad, but I am lucky enough for my FPS to not go under 30, meaning that if I have FSR 3 on, which is the better one to use, and then I use LSFG 3.0 times 2, I can get my FPS to a solid 60 using loss of scaling, and in my opinion, loss of scaling LSFG 3.0 is not as bad as people are trying to make it seem i know that we shouldn't live in a world where frame generation is needed but sadly that is the world we're in so you're gonna have to just deal with it now i personally play like this i'm sure i have over 10 hours playing using lsfg it does not hurt my eyes and i'm not sure how it hurts anybody's eyes but you can see the ghosting so there are some issues but it's not horrible like i've been playing a very long time and you can see i have a lot of different things yeah I've been playing just like this and it's not nearly as bad as people are making it seem. So you look at my settings, you can see that I currently have my frame limit at 30 FPS. And if you go further down, you can see my upscaling is at FSR 3 quality. And that is pretty much all I had to do. I kept all of my main settings. So my game still visually looks amazing. And I'm also getting the extra, what, 10 FPS that FSR 3 is giving me. And then I'm still locking it at 30 and then just doubling it so that I can get to a solid 60. Now, of course, you can go higher. So if your PC is able to get a steady 40 or 50 FPS, you could use LSFG 3.0 to get 100 FPS or 80 FPS. But trying to push it like that can also have its own issues. So I just locked my FPS to 30 and I've been having a really good time with this game. So, yeah my fps if you look around i'm looking around there is a little bit of warping but it's not enough for it to just completely break how fun the game is